Music Worldwide with Dan Blake. How you doing, Sam? You good? I'm pretty wonderful. How about yourself? Yeah, good, you know. I just heard that you're, you're in LA. You're in the City of Angels. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Music Worldwide, Worldwide FM. We're locking in international UK. Pleasure and always honoured to join by a an artist that I respect and rate the skills highly. Saba, how you doing, bro? Pleasure to meet you. I'm wonderful, man. I appreciate it, man. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Even better, tapping in with you, locking in, connecting, which is what it's all about. And you know, I've been I've been rolling to you in the car a lot with a new mm -hmm. album. You know, a few good things. Um, been enjoying, you know, the tracks on the project. It's a real, it's got a nice relaxed feel to it. And there's high tempo moments, mid tempo moments, even moments that kind of take me to a whole other place that I didn't even really expect <laughs> to be fair. You know, so I've been on an interesting journey about, about rides to work and stuff like that, rolling to your music. <laughs> good things. First of us, first of all, tell us about the title of the album, A Few Good Things, tell us. A Few Good Things, it was like, um... A concept that was, I had a note, when I make care for me, I had a note that was like 50 potential titles of projects that I could see myself making. And a few good things is one that it just, I always kept coming back to it. Um, and the more time passed, the more that became the project. And the more I wanted to make like a glass half empty, glass half full kind of like an album that's almost solely about perspective. And um, a few good things just kind of became the the result of that, you know. And um, you've got some personal favorites of mine on the album, you know. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying Soldier. I'm loving that track there. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. That's one of my favorites as well. Yeah, I feel like the the cadence and, 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 and the flow, the, the patterns of rhythm are really extraordinary right there. So yeah, to tell us how that mm -hmm. comes together, man, please. We made Soldier November 2020. And uh, I remember uh, working on a production with uh, Day Day, Day Day Pivot, um, who is one of the executive producers on the album, him, myself, and Dao. And um, it was me and Joseph, my brother. And I had this concept for a song that was based off of a most deaf lyric that I heard. And the lyric was, uh, it was something he said in Umi Says about just wanting to be a man and not wanting to be a soldier. And that was really inspiring to me. And uh, at the time, especially, it was something that I was feeling like on my heart, like every day where it's like, we just want to exist, you know? And then you think of the, 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 the challenges and the, you know, how much you're faced with when you're just trying to exist. And, okay. that's, and that's just how we, you know, that's how we got to that song, you know? I hear you, man. Like, so are, are you currently, speaking of like challenges and day-to-day -day living, are you currently, are you based in LA at the moment? Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's winter in Chicago, so this is my LA time. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I've been, I've been to LA a few times and stayed there. Well, how you, how you, how you find it out there? There's so much going on where you meet a lot of people coming into town from all over the place, a lot of musicians there. How are you finding life in LA at the moment? It's cool. It's cool. I'm more of a homebody. Uh, so I'm still like, I don't know, I feel like, it's a little bit of that, a little bit of meeting people, networking and making, you know, making stuff happen, but it's also a lot of just work, how we've been working when we was in Chicago, you know, where it's just the homies and we making music every day and doing what we kind of have always done, but we're just doing it here instead of in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, I've been listening to, a track you done called Come My Way. 
featuring Crazy Bone. Mm -hmm. uh, from Bone Thugs in Harmony, the legendary collective, one of the best collectives of all time. Um, easily, easily. Easily, easily. Um, again, another track that's got a, a very brush, a breath of fresh air to it. If you hear it, you know, it's very fresh. Um, again, tell us about this link up here. Very culturally, I, I like, I like that you you went there. You know, <laughs> you kept the legends. You got to keep the legends alive and kicking. And I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Tell it how that come about, man. I'm uh before anything before you know, my own artistry before my own rap, all of that stuff. Like, it's like, I'm a fan first. And uh, I wanted to make this album from a fan point of view, you know? So I wanted people that inspired me and people that I was a fan of to be featured on the album. And, you know, m most people who, who know anything about my story know that Bone Thugs and Harmony is the reason that I started rapping in the first place um so it was like you know it took a while to make it happen but having crazy bone on the album and on a song like this that's like it's like just such a full circle moment for me and it's just like really important that i continue to i don't know just put put that in the music you know the the people who inspired me the people who made me fall in love with music like to just keep celebrating them and like championing they, their their name and, and things like that. That's like always been important to me. Um, and then just as a fan of hip hop, it's like having Bone Thugs and Harmony or, um, you know, having, having any, you know, nobody sounds like them. Nobody's been able to do what they've done. So just as a fan, I'm such a, I'm such a big fan. And, and this song is, is made, you know, and that is kind of like my old to bone, you know what I'm saying? Like being able to get crazy bone on it. On this, on this record, it was really a dream come true for me. Wow, amazing, amazing. On, on <laughs> that note, let's talk, everybody go check that record out, you know, Come My Way featuring Crazy Bone, Bone, Fugs of Harmony, Saba, we love it. Um, then we go into that versus battle, Bone, Fugs and Harmony, 3-6 Mafia, did you see it? Yeah, I seen it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good vibes though. Good vibes, good energy, man. You know, yeah, it was, it was, it was, a bit rocky, but <laughs> you got there at the end, you know. <laughs> that was one of my favorite ones. I mean, obviously, you know, being such a big fan, but it was like it was such a good, a good vibe. I felt like it was like really reflective of, you know, it was just like my favorite part about the verses is like just being able to celebrate these artists, you know, while they're here. And it was really dope to see, you know, Bone and see three six up there, like really being loved and championed and celebrated. It was just really, you know, it was really an awesome thing to watch them on that on that stage. Yeah. Just to end the Bone Fox talk, you know that fun fact that people really know that that um they were like the only one of the only, you know, collectives to have a collaboration with Tupac and Biggie Spools legit. You know. Oh uh, yeah. They worked with all the legends. They got Tupac, Biggie, uh they got pun, they got easy eat, you know what I'm saying? Like all, the, all, the, like, all the all of the legendary, you know, all the legendary rappers, I feel like mess with them. And that is, you know, it's because that's their company, you know what I'm saying? Like they legends too, you know. Mm -hmm. And a few good things, you know, the album is out there in the world. Make sure you stream and take that in worldwide, FM music worldwide. So if there was a track from the album um, for worldwide listeners, there was one track that you'd want them to hear and take something away from and then check out the album. What would be the track you would pick? Um, probably, probably still, still featuring Black and Smino. That seems to be like an early, a early fan favorite on the album. Um, and that's, you know, easily one of my favorite songs on the project. So I'll probably go with Steel. Everybody, make sure you check out Steel if you're just checking out Saba for the first time worldwide. Um, bro, let's talk a bit about Chicago. Um, coming from Chicago, um, I don't know. I feel like Chicago, you hear internationally, you kind of hear stories about Chicago being quite a rough place. 
but then you hear some of the greats that's come from Chicago and the history and the culture. So I feel like it gets kind of a mixed bag worldwide. Tell us about growing up in Chicago, what it's really like. Uh, it's tough, you know, it's like, it's not that anything you heard about Chicago wasn't true. You know, it's it's all true, but it's just also a lot more to Chicago. Like one of the things that as a Chicagoan, I always notice is like in the pictures of Chicago, it's like it's like it's dumb, but you never see trees in Chicago. <laughs> you never see trees. You know what I'm saying? It's like Chicago has plenty of trees. Chicago has plenty of <laughs> just other other ways of of you know, there's so much more to a city. Chicago is a really big city, you know, and with that comes, there's going to be so many unique experiences that you can have in Chicago. So for me, you know, as much as Chicago has been everything that you heard, you know, you losing friends and having to make decisions that I feel like a lot of people wouldn't understand and just you know, stuff like that, as much as that is the reality of Chicago, Chicago is also one of the most beautiful places in the world, from the architecture to the trees to the people, you know, Chicago is a place that has like real, real life people inside of it. And it's just always gonna hold a, such a unique and important place in my heart for all that it was for me, you know what I'm saying? Like we wouldn't exists without Chicago. So, you know, I got I got nothing but but love and, and and real like respect for just anybody coming out of the city and and you know, because we it's a it's an unspoken language almost where we understand each other in a way that you know people outside of the city can't understand us because they haven't experienced it, you know. Big up, big up Chicago and um are you a Chicago Bulls fan? Yeah, I'm a Bulls fan. I'm a Bulls fan. I'm glad. I'm glad to see them uh, playing good this season. I'm glad to see you know that the Rosen trade uh, and just everything working out. You know what I'm saying for for them. You know what I'm saying. I remember seeing the headlines that that was the worst pickup of the season. Yeah. And now he had MVP talk. So you know what I'm saying. Big up to the Chicago Bulls, man. Yeah, 100-100, my first ever basketball team that I fell in love with, man. Shout out to Chicago Bulls every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, internationally, um, I want to know where your global perspective is on artists that you're listening to worldwide and maybe want to collab with in the future. Give me like three artists worldwide, anywhere in the world that you want to work with or are you working with already? Maybe you can give us an exclusive. Let me know. Um, <laughs> I got a... I got a cousin in Germany okay. uh, who's an artist named Middles. Middles, okay. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about working together and doing something for years. And uh, that's going to be, that's going to be first on the, on my international artist list. Um, number, number two, uh, have you ever heard of an artist, Gaida? No. Nah. Gaida. Gaida, Gaida, yeah. Gaida is, um, I believe she is from the Netherlands. Oh, she's uh, from By way of Sudan. Okay. And uh, I hung out with her when I was in Amsterdam and we made some, some really good music. And I would, <laughs> I would, I would definitely be excited to, to link back up with, with her um and then i gotta shoot for the stars on the last one shot a man yeah the stars for real man. yeah man so obviously a few good things is out you, you're touring it how's it going out there what's the energy like out, outside for you at the moment um it's really it's really beautiful i feel like just warm and embraced anytime i go out and uh i feel like people are hearing what i'm saying and that's uh that's something that a lot of artists 
you know, they, they long for. So I don't, I don't take it for granted, you know what I'm saying? Like being, being listened to. Um, so, you know, the, the tour starts in maybe a few weeks now. We, we, we leave out maybe like two, three weeks. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just in a, in a state of pure excitement, just pure, just I'm ready to hit the stage, man. <laughs> I love it. This is this is this is this is like the warm up period. You just get right, right, to right, right. Yeah, I feel you. Getting getting right, getting right. And um, I want before we just before we wrap up, bro. I just want to like get a wisdom quote for you, man. What's what's something you live by that you can you know spread some positivity, you know, in a crazy world right now? Uh, what's something that I live by that I can spread some. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> this is one of those those like like questions where I realize like every few years my perspective on this on this answer changes. Changes, yeah. So I feel you. What I would say I'm noticing is 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 more important to me as of late is just having audacity, not being a you know, really being able to believe in what you believe in and be being comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? Like part of that is just having audacity. Like if you say you're the greatest, nobody's gonna believe you. But when everybody says you're the greatest, people will believe you. And what's the difference? What's the difference really? You know what I'm saying? Like besides you believing in yourself, I feel like that's one of those things where it's like you really just gotta go for it, you know what I'm saying? Jump, make those, make those like hard, hard decisions and, and really just following your own path. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people might try to advise you and tell you what your path should be. But I think as long as you doing what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I honestly genuinely feel like it'll work out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, you know what I'm saying? For us, it's like, you know, it's always, it's always something, you know what I'm saying? It's always some type of challenge, some type of debacle, some type of roadblock. And, you know, part of it is just believing that, you know, we built for it and that we, you know, we supposed to be in the rooms that we in. And, and that's the, that's the part that I think makes a difference. That's the part that I think earned me a career. And if that, could do that for me, then I feel like that could do that for millions of people out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's what we call special talk right there. So on that <laughs> note, <laughs> Starba, Dan Blake is music worldwide, worldwide FM. It's a pleasure tapping in. I would look forward to continuing the conversation over your <laughs> career, my bro. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Until uh, until next time, man. I, I you know I, I definitely also look forward to you know, hopefully having a long, very fruitful career and we can talk, you know, yeah, all, all, you know, all throughout these, these upcoming years, man. Mm, <laughs> likewise, likewise. Can we just end, end it off with like a, like a one radio drop where you could say, um, um, it's Saba, you're listening to music. Well, you know, it's Saba, you're listening to Dan Blake on Worldwide FM. Yo, it's Saba, and you listening to Dan Blake on Worldwide FM. Let me do it again. Yeah. Yo, it's Saba, and you listening to Dan Blake on Worldwide FM. Yeah, perfect, my bro. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you, man. All right, bro. All right. All right. Peace. Yeah. Worldwide. On Dan Blake TV on YouTube.